This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and today we're going to take a look at Mego. Now Mego is the joining of the Mobilin Linux OS that Intel created and Nokia's MAMO operating system that is used most recently on the Nokia N900. Mego isn't just going to be available for smartphones like the N900 though, it's also available for netbooks. So we decided to load it on this Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Now this is one of the oldest netbooks we reviewed this a couple of years ago. It's got the uh, 1.6 gigahertz Atom, only a gig of RAM. It's an 8.9 inch netbook. As you can see here, you might remember this guy. So this is about as basic and cheap as you can get for a netbook. To load Mego on, you put the uh, image on a USB flash drive and use a disk imaging application to create the image. It's only 800 megs and it's very nicely done. You can actually just stick it in a USB port and just boot directly off of USB. You don't even have to install it if you just want to test it out. In this case, we actually did install it on the Acer netbook and that took, oh gee, less than 10 minutes. It was very fast and the OS itself runs very quickly. Looking at it right now, I'd say it looks a little bit more like Moblin than it does like Mamo, but this is early on. One thing that did impress me is it installed quickly and all the hardware just worked, right down to the F keys for the brightness and the volume, the webcam works, all of that stuff is working, and this is pretty quick. Now it's a no frills kind of very user friendly uh, Linux distribution. This isn't kind of one of your, your geeky Linux things that scares most novice users away. This is set up to be very user friendly and intuitive and not exactly overreaching. I mean, there's no office suite for this right now. Maybe there will be, that kind of thing. But it's set up with the Chrome Google browser. You can choose to download it with or without. And it's got a variety of IMs, Twitter support, music player, things like that. So this is the home screen in Mego right here we're looking at right now. And it's got, these are my Twitter buddies, messages over here. You have PIM apps, so you've got appointments and tasks, which would show up over here. My favorite apps, which is the music player, Chrome, email application, there is indeed an email application. And you can switch between your tabs up here. We have the zones, which for me isn't doing very much right now. Applications, these are all the applications that are installed here by default. I haven't added anything yet. But you can, as you can see, there are separate categories. There's more apps here than just these four. There's a file browser, settings manager, calculator, screenshot, a whole lot of stuff. And in the office tab, we just have the calendar, contacts, and tasks. It's really a pin. Media player, the image viewer, the webcam, video player, and a sound recorder. And status is just a flowing of Twitter, and you can also have last FM up here. So this is kind of the quick and dirty approach to streaming your Twitter updates. People, this is your IM. This supports just about every IM service on the planet, other than Skype, but it has everything else. You've got Yahoo, you've got MSN, you've got Jabber, you've got Google Talk. Internet is the Chrome browser, and these are pages that I visited recently. And you can just go to a new page as well if you want. You can see, as you can see here, and you can search there. And we'll take a look at the web browser in detail in a bit. Media player interface over here. Some sample media on here. So as you can see, the sound is also working. I didn't have to do any Linux geeking around. Devices here, if you insert mass storage devices, cameras, that kind of thing. Let's show up over here. You've got Bluetooth, which this machine actually doesn't have, and Wi-Fi to manage your Wi-Fi connections and networking. And then there are settings, and you always have your battery status right here. And no matter where you are, if you raise your cursor to the top, this bar will appear so you can quickly jump around from place to place. We're going to go and take a look at Chrome real quick. We're going to show you YouTube playing. So far what I've noticed is that while this netbook would just 
sizzle and die trying to play YouTube when it runs Windows, Windows XP, or even Windows 7, it does pretty well here. Let's look for some kind of video to test out. For a netbook, that's pretty darn good playing YouTube video, even full screen. Granted, we weren't running it at 720p that time. It's not even available, this clip, in a higher resolution, but gee, that's, that's just pretty impressive. So that's Mego. You can actually download this for free. Just go to Mego.com and choose the netbook installation. I suggest you choose the one with Chrome, because you're probably going to want to use the web browser and access the internet. And it's totally free. It's quick to install. And you can try it just by booting off a flash drive. You don't even have to install this on your computer. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Mego running on a netbook.